Hello, welcome. This is Kenshin1913 along with Ghosty Films. And you have just entered the lost footage of Doom 2. Yeah. The Let's Play. And this episode, this actually is a piece of footage that we recorded back in 2011. Yeah. Right before something really big happened where stuff went down. Now that stuff's gone down, uh, I can't think of what, I was trying to think of something really good, but. You're not a very good historian, Pete. No, I'm not, especially since we're doing this in the future. Mm hmm yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, just weird. We're in the tenements. Yeah, we're in the tenements, and what those are is like an apartment complex. Yeah, and, and they have acid in the front. Like, yeah, so, yeah, because it's supposed which to be is, like a nice little, like, hey, come come stay for the rooms, but, or no, come for the acid bath, stay for the hospitality, yeah. or something like that. Come to corrode your limbs and be a cripple for the rest of your life. Stay for the water beds. Yeah, yeah, see, it's just like the Econo Lodge. Yeah. Stay for the whores. Stay for the no. You come for the whores and stay, you stay for the company. I don't know how it goes. You know, you know what I'm talking about, Dan. It's I like, think so. I, I know. I know all, all about whores. Stay for the whatever. Come for the something or other. Ah shit! I don't remember how that saying goes. It's like stay for the breakfast and come for the low jobs or something. I don't know. Dan. Yeah, Bre breakfast is like a hundred times better with mm -hmm. BJ's. Yeah. Stay for the oral, uh, come for the anal or something. I don't know how exactly how it went. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're not very good at remembering our, you know, slutty... Sayings. Yeah. Those, those sayings. From the hotels. This is like a zoo. This is like a viewing, like, observation deck. I know, they open it up, you look out. Go like, people, throwing green stuff in my face. I'm gonna be on American Idol. Yeah, I heard so. Yeah, my, my, I have a beautiful singing voice. Mm -hmm. When I start singing, people are like, oh, that's, that's like the, that's like a chorus of angels. Mm -hmm. But no, it's just me. Yeah, I know, it's just Dan. I'm good at what I do. Uh, who is this, who are these guys? Dan, by him, lonesome or something or other. Yep. I like to, uh, I like to make albums where I'm wearing leather pants, like, on the cover. Mm-hmm. And, and, like, I, and they're, like, really tight so people can see my junk. Yeah, you gotta sometimes. And I, and I like to put vegetables in my pants as well. Yeah. See, this is another one of those examples where you're on a high ground, and there's, like, an awkward path down to a low ground where, you know, something important is, and it's clearly a trap. So what you do is... A lot of the times, you, if you look at the map, you can see teleportation pads. Actually, I don't know about a lot of times. This might be the first time that this configuration is here, but this is another typical trap because they want you to be cornered down there and they don't want it to be easy to come back up. So, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to save it. And I don't remember exactly how I get this, but I think, if I remember correctly, one of these teleportation things leads to... A room where mm -hmm. the where the monsters are. See, there is one. Let's jump into that. Nice. Nice job, Dan. So. Uh, How the hell did you get out? Um. It looks like you're stuck. Oh. So let's see. There's another teleportation pad there, and that teleports me back here. So, let's see, how do I get back to that place I was? I have no idea, dude. Oh. So, let's try this again, I guess. I believe that one, the close one, was the one that... Oh, that one set me back. I can't believe we're actually talking about the game. And then, uh... Let's try that one. Where did that come from? Oh. I'm trying to surprise them by jumping into their room and... Ending them, I hear you. I just walked right into their trap. 
Well, only half of it, because I killed the other half. Then when I get down here. All these animals open up with a sexy zoo. Yeah, sex zoo. I'm gonna. I. I. That's. It's actually my life's dream to open up a sex zoo. Mm -hmm. And man, is that's like the best idea I've ever had. That is a very good idea. Yeah, sex zoo. Like you go into the sex zoo, and there are all these cages with people in them, and they could be dressed as animals. I don't know. But uh, you could feed them. Like, if, if you pay a small fee, mm -hmm. you can feed them some, uh, like, peanuts, and mm -hmm. maybe they'll, uh, maybe after you feed them, they'll perform services on you. Oh, sweet. Sex zoo. I thought, I thought it was gonna be, like, a zoo where you got people caged up, and they were having sex with each other, or they would die. Maybe that would be part of the zoo. Maybe, like, there'd be two parts, like, mm -hmm. a petting zoo portion, which would be where they touch you, touch mm -hmm. you back, mm -hmm. and a regular zoo for just the, uh, people who like to watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, that's, that's why I'm going to be rich someday, because I have the big brains, and I have big ideas. And yeah. I have aspirations. Yeah. Excuse me. I don't have any rockets. This could be problematic. Why don't I ever do this? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Here. I'm shooting through the window. Okay. Pete, you're in a wacky universe. I am a wacky world full yeah. of whatever the hell is going on here. bad people in, in those windows up there. Yeah, damn well. Trying to figure out how to handle them. Are they technically people? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, this is kind of a grueling let's play once you get past, like, level 10. Yeah, it just seems like an endurance run, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like trying to, not only playing it and watching you play it and like trying to like I don't know it's just it's long it feels so long like it doesn't feel like we ever get anywhere you know what I mean just every level gets a little longer and a little longer well at least we skipped over the, the Wolfenstein levels yeah that guy's got rocket packs on his shoulders yeah. or something whatever's Something bad. Yeah. yeah, like I couldn't see one dude sitting down and playing this game like in one day either. Yeah, you'd come back to it again and again probably over the course of weeks. Yeah. Cause like if you think about it, game designers don't want to make a game that that's gonna take one day to beat. Cause they they want it to they want I guess they I would assume they want you to get your money's worth. Or not, depending on how assholeish they are. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. This little room is kind of tough. It's totally tough. There are lots of, like, traps. This game is also kind of hard on your back. Or at least the setup that we have. Yeah, I think after this one, Dan, we're going to take a break. Alright. I can't think of anything to talk about. I'm just watching you play. And it's like, what's going on here? Oh, Dan. That guy's got an eye. He's got an eye for Whoa, where'd these guys come from? I'm about to get murdered. Yeah, you're probably gonna die. You know how it is. Oh, there's guys on both sides of me. Man, you're gonna die. Just like last night. Yeah. Oh, I just zinged Ooh. myself with a gay joke. Get out of my face! What the devil? I'm 
mistaken. There's a guy up here somewhere. What, Heffalum? Nephilim? No, Heffalumps and Woozles, you know, Winnie the Pooh. I don't know a whole lot about I, Winnie the Pooh. I, I, I'm, I'm grasping at straws, I'm not gonna lie. Yay, elevators. Alright, let me think about how to, uh, get up there. Hmm. Let me jump down there and see what happens. Excellent. The secret is revealed. It's a secret to everybody. It's a secret to everybody. Moblins are gassy. Yeah. It's a secret to somebody. Blue key. Yay! Oh, you're hitting all kinds of switches, Dan. I'm making things happen. I'm moving and shaking. Yeah, there you go. I feel like the ice cold hand of death is on me and freezing. Really? Why? Maybe it's because the icy cold hand of death is on you. Yeah, probably. My stomach's not feeling good. I think I'm gonna have to kick me out of your house. No, drop a bomb. Oh. Huh. Because the ice cold hand of death is on me. Hey! Excuse me. Dan, you keep going. All right. I guess that was kind of interesting. I was starting to think that uh, even the gun fights were getting boring. Because I was, I didn't really feel like I was in danger. I just was walking around shooting everybody I saw on the street. Like people would walk up to me and be like, "Hey, how's it going?" And then I'd shoot them. Mm -hmm. But I was in danger there for a minute. Yeah, danger, Will. I'm in danger. Yeah. That was fun. Good old fun, right, Dan? Yeah. He doesn't like fun. There's a little, uh, guy down in his holding pen down there. Oh, cool. I'll be right back, Dan. Sex zoo! I'm gonna have to be the, uh, controller of my own destiny. Alright. Um, uh, now. What shall I talk about? I'm a boring son of a gun. See, people ask me why don't I why don't I do my own let's plays, but I'm just boring. I can't think of a single thing to talk about. Imagine how boring I would be if I had my own let's playing channel. All right. Oh, Dan! It looks like we're just about out of time. Huh. Oh. How was that whole you doing whatever you're doing by yourself thing? It was boring. Yeah, I figured that people, much. People hated that. Yeah, I know. They hate when Dan... People are writing letters right now as we speak yeah. to talk about how, how horrible that episode was. Anyways, we'll have to continue this in the next episode. This has been Country 1913. Alright. And here at Ghosty Films. Films. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.